All right, fellow gearheads, I've got the latest barrel and blade box for May of 2023. As usual, don't have a clue what's inside this thing this month, so let's open it up and see what we got. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future, and I'm back with another barrel and blade unboxing. If you're unfamiliar with this sub, if you've never watched any of my other unboxings of it, this is actually a pretty cool one. Uh, it comes in two different flavors, a $50 level one box, and $100 level two box, lots of cool like uh, prepping, tactical, survival type gear and everything. If you wanna get a good deal in this box, be sure to follow my link on the screen or down in the description and save yourself some money if you wanna get this one. Um, I always try to say with these, sometimes with other subscription boxes, there's spoilers and everything that go around, uh, but Barrel and Blade, for some reason, never seems to have spoilers for it. So I'm always going in totally blind, not even a hint of what's inside these things. So uh, this is the May 2023 one. So let's see what is inside. All right, here we go. Operation 71, like I mentioned, two different levels, level one on the right and level two, which is typically like an upgraded version of what's in level one. Uh, see a bunch of stuff packed in this thing. So what we're gonna do is unpack it all, put it to the side and kind of go through it one by one. Here we go. All right, so I've got it all unboxed and laid out. Uh, first up, I'm not gonna go in my typical order. I just wanna celebrate something. Barrel and Blade used to do these morale patches all the time. And I'm just happy to see the return of another morale patch in this. I'm sure it's listed on here somewhere. Actually, unless I'm blind at the first glance, this is just a little fun freebie. So the little not ATF guy morale patch uh, goes right on with hook and loop. That's just fun to see back in the boxes. So uh, let's just start at the bottom then and work our way down the Condor Stowaway Chest Rig, which I'm gonna guess is the thicker one of these items here. So barrel and blade back with its uh, Get this uh, tape open here. Back with his tactical roots with a chest rig here. So Condor, it seems like, you know, people have some opinions about Condor and everything, but this thing, just at first kind of glance, feels pretty nice. We've got some hook and loop in the front, some kind of uh, Molly style attachment points, and lots of different ways to get it connected and get things hooked up on you. So let's go ahead and unzip it. We'll see what's inside here. All right, tons and tons of hook and loop inside. We've got some shot cords. We've got some pockets here. Um, kind of opens right up and lets you get to your stuff really quick. A little bit of, actually, no, look, it tears away with some hook and loop in the back too, so that's great. I was gonna say, it feels like there's some padding there, and maybe there is in the inside of it. Let's learn a little bit more about this thing. All right, so it says chest rigs are awesome. Pairs perfectly with the M4 mag insert featured this month, which I think is the next thing we're gonna take a look at. So it says, whether you're bugging out, responding to an active shooter situation, or just LARPing around mom's basement, protecting your chicken nuggies, this is a versatile platform. I appreciate the comedic writing, guys. Pretty awesome. Uh, loop panel allows you to apply patches um, and other stuff. So pretty cool. We'll throw our ATF guy on there. Here we go. Let's move right into the next thing, which is the Condor M4 mag insert. This little guy right here. All right, so designed to be used with this uh, chest setup right here. Spots for three different mags. Um, so hook a loop here in the back, a little bit of uh, shot cord on uh, the top there. So exactly what it says in the label, just a simple value add to that. And again, you wouldn't have got that if you got the level one thing this month. So that's kind of, I think, the big ticket items. Actually, you know what, I just noticed this Mantis knife that was buried at the bottom of this. I didn't actually set it out with my stuff, so here we go. Next up from Snug Pack, we have an Aqua Cover Backpack Water Cover. So that is this little thing here. All right, so Barrel and Blade has had a few things from Snug Pack lately, and you know what? It's a brand that I wasn't familiar with before, but actually most of their stuff has been pretty cool. So it looks like this is just a simple waterproof backpack cover. Yeah, it says rucksack cover, waterproof rating of five. I don't think that's like an official rating or anything. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, not much else beyond what you see on the label here. Just kind of a rundown of throw it over your backpack. It'll keep it dry. Fits up to 35 liter packs. So just a simple kind of bungee corded things, slide it down over there. If you get some unexpected rain, you're good to go. Pretty straightforward, feels like decently thickish material. It kind of has the that sh shiny waterproof coating on the inside, I believe. Pretty light too. I like that the bag is mesh, so if it gets super wet, it'll dry out and it's got a little hook and loop thing at the top. So something you, meet, you either may use it never, or this is like awesome for you and you'll probably use it all the time. Good to have. Most, um, special, especially like tactical backpacks and stuff. Now, if you get like a camping backpack or you're into backpacking, those will have covers with them. But you don't see this sort of thing much for the tactical world. 
um, or like the prepping world. So good to have even for a bug out bag, a uh, little value add there. Uh, by the way, that rig's worth 50 bucks. This is 16 and this is 25. I haven't been going over the prices because I was too excited to look at new gear. So uh, moving on, we got some Siloom green chem lights. Always good to have for your prepping kit. 12 hour glow time, it says. Uh, I don't want to open these up on camera because again, I want to actually use this stuff. But these are just, you know, the crack and shake them around type glow lights. Um, if you haven't had like the good ones versus like what you may get at like Walmart to goof off with on the 4th of July, these are a lot better, a lot brighter. They last a long time. Like it says, 12 hours here. I wonder if it has an expiration on here. Typically you get a few years out of them. Okay. So 2023 at the time of this video expires in February of 2027. So a good four years thing. Throw them in your kits. You get three of these. Again, three good chem lights. Never a bad thing to have. It says it's worth about eight bucks, which sounds right to me. So good value add for this kit. And let's see, we've got the Aquamira Water Straw. It's a very similar to the Life Straw if you're familiar with those. So this is cool here. It says each gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. It's difficult to carry enough for your missions. These feature parasite filters and are certified for 30 gallons of water. So not like you're not gonna survive out in the woods for three years on one of these. But if you're in a pinch and you wanna keep one in your kit, uh, whether it's part of your prepping stuff or even if you're just camping and just need a good um, way to get a nice water source, these are great. Again, I'm not gonna open this. You can kinda of see what it looks like. Most people are familiar with what the live straw type devices look like by now. Um, but I'm not sure if this is meant to be exposed to air and then stowed away for a while. I'm just gonna keep it safe and keep it fresh um, inside of this thing. Um, but yeah, these are great. Man, isn't it awesome to have all these water filter options now? I feel like when I was a kid, like in the scouts and stuff, uh, either this stuff didn't exist or it was just like the old fashioned versions of that. I think everybody just had iodine tablets or something, but super handy type of stuff you want to see in here. Again, look, you've got the makings of a good bug out bag starting up right there. So that's great. Uh, Gator eyes, clip on lights. You know, I had some of these ages ago. I think the same brand. Um, and these things are pretty handy, kind of a one-time use thing. Pop one of these out of here. So magnetic there on the back, clipped on the card. Let's see, you can get a rundown of how these work here in the back. So this little mini LED lights there, a tiny little switch, just slide that on, get a good amount of light there. You can actually see it reflecting on the package here, even though by a bright light source, don't last a terribly long time, like not gonna last days or anything, but definitely last several hours. Let's see if they have specs on the card for that. Nope, no specs or anything, which is odd because sometimes these things will tell you, okay, a four hour battery life. But yeah, it's all sealed up here. I don't, I don't know if you kind of like hack it open and replace the batteries if you want. Maybe if you're more of a daredevil than I am. Uh, but yeah, super handy. Have these in a glove box. They weigh nothing, they're very small. Um, a ni nice makeshift and semi-disposable option if you just need something that's gonna light stuff up in a pinch and you don't mind just, you know, it getting beat to death or broken with whatever you're doing. Super handy, it's funny on here, it says give one to a friend. They're all about just having something that's affordable enough you can throw it around. So it looks like a pack of these worth 18 bucks or so. Seems maybe a little bit high for this. I can see this being like a $10 pack, but there you go. Those are the Gator Eyes. And last up in this month's box from Mantis Knives, we have the Mantis Seymour. Now, before I open this thing, Mantis knives are almost always crazy. <laughs> I feel like I've had uh, like a ballast song from them in the past. I've had just some crazy knife shapes and everything. So I'm really curious if this is gonna be a crazy looking knife or is it gonna be kind of a low key thing? But I'm gonna lean towards crazy. So we've got a little foam insert in the top. Oh, wait a second. Am I gonna eat my words? Is this gonna be kind of a normal looking blade here? Interesting handle. This is very, very rubbery. Almost you can like, I don't know if you can see like my thumbnail prints on there, but you can almost squish it, it's so rubbery. So we're gonna pop it out. Okay, look at this. This is actually a little cool skeletonized fixed blade. Big, deep jimping down here in the scales. Full tang, 154 cm, which is unusually nice steel for a knife like this. Interesting little sheath, also kind of skeletonized for what it is. It's got a little uh, clip on here. All right, well, I'm immediately eating my words. That's interesting. Let's see what there is to know about this thing. So yeah, it says it's a fixed blade, a sheath that's interchangeable from horizontal carry to vertical carry. You know what's funny though? It says the handle is constructed of ZR rated rubber and the blade is 420 high carbon steel, which is just kind of like a, you know, entry level steel. But when I pop this thing out, 
154 cm steel is a nicer steel. So I don't know if we just got shipped a nicer knife by accident or if maybe their cards is wrong. This thing actually looks kind of cool. Got a little debris out of the box. Uh, Sharp-ish, it probably needs a little uh, run through a sharpener or so, but you know, it's kind of cool. Really, um, really nice matte finish on it. Feels pretty nice in the hand. Even though the backbone of the knife kind of comes out beyond these rubberized uh, scales here and everything, it's actually very comfortable. Interesting, all right. That may be the first Mantis knives that haven't like looked at and been like, what in the world is this? So that's cool. So yeah, that is this month's barrel and blade. That knife, by the way, was worth $45. So level two for May, 2023. We've got the Mantis Seymour knife. We've got some Gator Eyes lights down here. We've got a water filter straw from Aquamira. We've got some Kim lights. We have a snug pack water bat waterproof backpack cover. We have a Condor M4 mag insert, and then this pretty heavy duty Condor stowaway chest rig. So lots of cool gear and gadgets. And again, excited to see morale patches back in the box. Uh, so really cool subscription. Um, they kind of keep the quality level and interesting level up every month, which is something you can't say for every sub out there. So if you're into survival and tactical stuff, this is a good one to get. If you want to get this one for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, but yeah, there you go, Operation 71. So that is it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.